G'day trendsetters, John with Gravel Cyclist. I'm coming to you from downtown Ocala, Florida. Next to me is Rusty, he's one of the Gravel Cyclist crew. Rusty, what ride are we doing today? What's it called? Today is the Cotton Plant Grubber. That's a pretty fascinating name, I have to say. Uh, the ride's going to entail, what, 80 miles of... Uh... I think it's right at just over 82 miles. Just what you need for a Sunday morning. So, all right, we'll see you later on. Oh look, it's Anne King. Yeah. Anything to say for yourself? Went off the front early and often. You said that last time. My motto. I went off the back early and often, that's what happened to me. Yeah. You know what? It doesn't matter if it's an attack off the front or the back, at least you're out here, right? Alright then. Here's a little more info about the name behind the ride. The Armed Occupation Act during the 1840s was a draw to early pioneers settling in Marion County, which is home to Ocala. Joseph Pottle Barco came to Florida from Georgia in 1848. He eventually settled in a community that was named Cotton Plant as a result of farming and cotton growing. This 80-ish mile ride was named in honor of these events and traversed road surfaces such as pavement, chip seal, lime rock, dirt roads and grass roads. This ride has everything. It hadn't rained in this part of the world for weeks and many of the roads in this area of Florida are notoriously sandy. That would definitely wreak a bit of havoc upon those who lacked experience, tire width, fitness or in my case, sleep. The lads in this scene thought it was a good idea to practice an argy-bargy head knock, just like you see at the velodrome once in a while. Temperatures were supposed to be cooler around this time of year, late September 2018, but the heat and humidity took its toll on everyone, including yours truly. Some days you're the hammer, and some days you're the nail, which means it's a good idea to sit up versus getting dropped, which are two completely different things. Here's an example of sort of how to ride sand, low gear, high cadence and ideally wider tyres and some experience. If you have the option, exit stage left and take to the terrain offering better traction. It should be noted the lad in this scene was spotted somewhere towards the end of the ride, completely cracked, sitting in a fountain in an attempt to cool off. Some people you cannot take anywhere. That's Anne behind me and she's very smart because she's riding a drop bar mountain bike with mega wide Schwabby tyres which are perfect for these crazy roads. Because this ride is civilised we regrouped often, until the halfway stop that is, when it was everyone for themselves, back to the Ocala downtown. And this is an example of yours truly, who is just about cracked from riding in sand, taking my machine on a hiker bike. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel. I'll see you in the next video.